This is 7 News. Tonight, nightclub fight. A rising AFL star accused of breaking a WA teen's jaw. Fire heartache for an Embleton mother. It wasn't until they've just found my dog and my cat that I found that it's hitting home. Perth's heatwave sparks a surge in air conditioner and fan sales. And Michael Clark's record run fest. Yes, he has. From the studios of Seven Perth, Emmy Kabansky. Good evening. An AFL player has been charged over a nightclub fight that's left a WA teenager with a broken jaw. Collingwood's Marley Williams is accused of punching the 19-year-old this morning in Albany. Alexis Donkin reports. A Merriwa father and a female friend have been killed in a crash in Perth's north. Police say they were thrown from their motorcycle after it collided with a vehicle that had just pulled out of a driveway. An Australian man kidnapped by Muslim extremists has appeared in a video saying he holds no hope of being released. The taped message was released to prove Warren Rodwell is still alive, a year after he was abducted at gunpoint from his home in the Philippines. Firefighters have been kept busy battling a series of deliberately lit scrub fires across Perth. It's believed one of the fires was started by an 11-year-old boy who is too young to face criminal charges. Grant Taylor reports. Teenagers playing with fireworks are believed to have sparked this blaze in Kenwick last night. Oh, that tree's on fire over there. Within minutes, it had grown into a wildfire. Residents like Jenny Thomas grabbed what they could and fled as the flames started licking at their back fences. It was scary last night, you know, really, really scary. And all I grabbed was my bag with my money in and that was it. I just got out. The fire was one of four suspicious blazes overnight. The arson squad says an 11-year-old boy and his 14-year-old mate lit this fire behind homes in Darlington. Because of their age, they'll be punished by attending fire education courses. And two 15-year-olds were questioned about several small scrub fires in South Lake. Both were later released without charges, pending further inquiries. They need to think about people's lives. You know, it's not just property, it's, it's other people's lives and they do it. They don't think. Unbelievable. Where's your common sense? With the extreme hot weather to continue into the weekend, police are urging the community to report any suspicious activity immediately. And if you need an incentive to dob somebody in, how does $50,000 sound? That's the maximum reward that's on offer for information that leads to the conviction of an arsonist. Grant Taylor, 7 News. An Embleton mother escaped her burning home with nothing but her mobile phone and the clothes she was wearing. Jenny Hoff lost her dog and cat in the fire. An electrical fault in an air conditioner is being blamed. A man's been charged over a police chase that ended with a car crash in Perth's north. Officers tried to stop the Ford Falcon on Morley Drive in Chewett Hill last night, but the driver allegedly sped off. He's then accused of losing control on Flinders Road, crashing into a brick wall and pole. A 36-year-old man was arrested nearby and charged. A gun, drugs and cash were allegedly found in the car. An expected taxi shortage this New Year's Eve is seeing Perth drivers offering lifts to partygoers in exchange for money. But transport authorities warn getting into a bogus cab could be extremely dangerous. Alison Hember reports. Illegal taxis, normal Perth drivers cashing in on the taxi shortage this New Year's Eve by advertising lifts online for money. Anyone going to stop? But the Taxi Council warns getting into a stranger's car could be dangerous. It's a version of hitchhiking. The council says registered cabs with cameras, GPS systems and screened drivers are a safer option. Every driver behind the wheel of those taxis is registered to operate as a taxi driver. So the government knows who they are, the police know who they are. The council's advice, plan ahead. Consider booking a private charter vehicle, catching public transport or just being patient. You will line up, you know, get over it, you will be waiting for a taxi, but the taxis are there. I think people are desperately looking for alternatives. We've seen the drop in the standards of the drivers and the availability of taxis. The Transport Department says any illegal taxi drivers face a $500 fine. Alison Hembra, 7 News. 
Well, Perth didn't make it to the predicted top of 41 today, but the high of 38 was enough to put us into an official heat wave. It's a stretch of hot weather that'll stay with us into the new year, and it sparked a sales rush that sweltering West Australians chase relief. They're queuing to buy it at Harvey Norman Osborne Park. When the weather forecast came out for Christmas Day and Boxing Day, uh, the sales on uh, Christmas Eve were about double what they were last year. And what a forecast it was. A week straight for Perth, around the 40 mark. This afternoon, we got to 38.3. <laughs> New fountains in Forest Place are popular. They use recycled and filtered stormwater, so it is clean and it doesn't add to the city's water consumption. <laughs> Perth's been thirsty. Yesterday, we used about 100 million litres more than the daily target. Shark sightings closed beaches near Trigg and Scarborough this afternoon. And as hot as it is outside, inside a car, it's worse. Parked at Inaloo for an hour today, our news car got to 69 degrees. The Bureau says there's another four days left in this summer heat wave. Lake Johnson, 7 News. Next in 7 News, anger over conditions at a Perth pet shop. Plus gun buyback, gift vouchers in exchange for firearms after the US school massacre. And an amazing near miss at a military air show. It was a security scare at a Warwick pet store today after threats were made online to burn down the shop. It came after dozens of locals posted comments on the internet claiming animals were left unattended in cages with no air conditioning. The RSPCA says air conditioning at the Warwick Shopping Centre did break down yesterday, but only temporarily. The animals have since been inspected and are not showing signs of heat stress. The RSPCA says it will continue to monitor the situation. America's passion with guns may be changing after people queued for hours in Los Angeles to surrender their weapons. Police promised a gift voucher and no questions for anyone who handed in their firearms. A group of plane spotters had a near-death experience when they got too close to a military aircraft landing in Germany. The pilot suddenly reported he couldn't see the start of the runway from his cockpit, so came down on a side road. Some bystanders fled in terror. Others took the risk to stand still with their cameras at the ready. The plane was making its final landing before being decommissioned. Chris Young is sport now and Michael Clark knocks up another century. That's all from the newsroom for now. I'll have updates later. Enjoy your evening. Now here's Tina with Today Tonight.